Hi everyone, my name is Mark, and today we're going to take a look at another horrible case with you. In 1988, Heather Hodges and Ignacio Garaus met at a party while attending the University of Northern Colorado. Ignacio was a friendly guy with a great personality, and he immediately caught Heather's attention. It was love at first sight for both of them. Heather had a fun personality with a bit of innocence about her. She was beautiful, with pale skin, red lips, and dark hair. Ignacio found Heather enchanting and even referred to her as his Snow White. After Ignacio asked Heather out on their first date, she was excited. She immediately shared the news with her roommates, and they celebrated her newfound happiness. Heather's friends were thrilled for her because she hadn't really dated before, and they believed this date could be the start of something special. Heather and Ignacio's relationship quickly blossomed into something more serious. Ignacio was attentive, always surprising Heather with her favorite flowers or coffee. His thoughtfulness and consideration made Heather feel loved and appreciated. After graduating from the University of Northern Colorado, Ignacio decided to take their relationship to the next level. He proposed to Heather, and she happily accepted his proposal. However, there was one condition that Heather attached to their engagement. If Ignacio ever cheated on Heather, she would immediately end their marriage, regardless of any apologies or attempts to make amends. This stipulation was a deal-breaker for Heather, and she made it clear that she would not tolerate infidelity. Heather and Ignacio married within one year of their engagement, and it was a beautiful and joyous occasion. Ignacio became a law enforcement officer at the Greeley, Colorado Police Department, and Heather worked as a supervisor at the local credit union in town. Heather's colleagues and customers at the credit union admired her greatly. She was known for her exceptional skills in providing comfort to the credit union members when there were issues. One co-worker even described Heather as wonderful all the way around. Five years into Heather and Ignacio's marriage, they decided to expand their family. Heather ultimately gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, Victoria. Becoming a mother brought Heather joy. Her entire world revolved around her new daughter. Ignacio, too, proved to be an outstanding father. From the outside, Heather and Ignacio's life appeared to be perfect. In 1997, Heather's father passed away from a heart attack. This tragic event was followed by an even more devastating blow just a few days later when Heather's mother was diagnosed with cancer. Determined to be a dedicated daughter, Heather dedicated herself to taking care of her ailing mother. Over the next several years, she selflessly provided care and support to her mother, who died in 2003. Ignacio proved to be a loving husband and father and helped out more with the couple's daughter, Victoria, and around the house. However, after months of supporting Heather through her grief, Ignacio started to turn his attention to a co-worker, Shauna Nelson, a dispatcher at the Greeley Police Department in 2004. She was married to a Wells County Sheriff's deputy named Ken. Shauna and Ken had two children, but their marriage was on the rocks. Ken later said things changed between him and Shawan after Shauna returned to work after the birth of their second child. Shauna and Ignacio's relationship started as friendly and turned into something more. They began exchanging flirtatious comments and engaging in playful banter. Shauna's compliments caught Ignacio's attention, and she captivated him. Over time, Ignacio's interest grew deeper, and he spent a lot of time with Shauna. Their connection became more than just friendly, and they began to form a deeper emotional bond. As they continued to see each other, the intensity of their feelings grew. Their emotions shifted from playful flirtation to something more passionate and intimate. Despite their marital status, they found themselves unable to resist the pull of their attraction. Ignacio and Shauna's relationship was the talk of the town, but Heather remained oblivious to the affair. Despite everyone being aware of the situation, no one felt comfortable disclosing the truth to Heather. As a result, Shauna and Ignacio's relationship intensified, while Heather remained in the dark. Shauna found out she was pregnant and excitedly shared the news with Ignacio. However, Ignacio did not take the news well and started to question whether the baby was, in fact, his and not Shauna's husband, Ken. Shauna assured Ignacio that her husband had a vasectomy after their second child, eliminating the possibility of Ken being the father of the child. 
Knowing that he would be facing serious consequences if Heather found out about Shauna's pregnancy, Ignacio became nervous. He did not want this baby and desperately sought a solution. With Shauna's agreement, he convinced her to terminate the pregnancy and drove her to the procedure. As months and years passed, Heather remained oblivious to her husband's affair with Shauna. However, as time went on, Shauna became impatient and decided to confront Heather. One day, she followed Heather to the grocery store, accompanied by her best friend and partner in crime, Michelle Moore. Shauna and Michelle followed Heather discreetly around the store, observing her every move. Heather, oblivious to their presence, engaged in a conversation with a friend on her phone. Eventually, Shauna approached Heather in the store and unleashed a tirade of insults and accusations. She called Heather names and hurled hurtful words at her. The incident at the grocery store left Heather deeply shaken. She decided it was time to confront Ignacio, as she recognized Shauna from his work Christmas parties and knew she was his co-worker at the police department. When Heather asked Ignacio why Shauna, who had always been nice to her, would confront her in the grocery store, spewing nasty words, Ignacio explained to Heather that Shauna had a crush on him, but that Heather had nothing to worry about. Ignacio told Heather he would tell Shauna to stop bothering her. He confronted Shauna and told her to leave Heather alone, and Shauna got very angry with him. However, Shauna did not stop harassing Heather. One time, Shauna showed up at Heather and Ignacio's house demanding to see Ignacio. Although Heather didn't want to think there was something more between the relationship of her husband and his co-worker, she couldn't help but wonder what he was really up to. Shauna confided in one person at the county dispatch center about the affair she was having with Ignacio. She expressed deep feelings for Ignacio, stating she was in love with him more than anyone else she had ever met. However, Shauna also expressed her frustration that Heather, Ignacio's wife, stood in the way of their relationship. According to this supervisor, Shauna revealed that she went to the shooting range to relieve her frustrations. While shooting at the targets, Shauna would pretend they were Heather. Despite Shauna and Ignacio's years-long affair, Ken, Shauna's husband, had no idea what was going on until he read Shauna's journal, which detailed her relationship with Ignacio. Wanting to stay together for the sake of their children, Ken did not leave Shawan when he found out about her cheating. Shauna was not the only person Ignacio was having an affair with, as Shauna herself was aware of Ignacio's relationship with another woman. This knowledge prompted Shauna to keep Ignacio on a short leash, as she was determined to maintain her position as the sole woman in his life. She threatened to tell Heather everything if he ever left her. Her obsession with Ignacio was growing stronger. In July 2005, Shauna took a step further to solidify her place in Ignacio's life when she got a tattoo on her leg with his family name. Shauna had developed an unhealthy obsession with Ignacio, and it began to escalate to the point where she started stalking him. If Heather and Ignacio decided to take their daughter Victoria to a restaurant, Shauna and her family would make sure to show up. Ignacio could tell that Shauna's behavior was becoming increasingly concerning, but he continued to engage in an affair with her. When Shauna found out she was pregnant with Ignacio's baby a second time, she told him there was no way she was ending the pregnancy. She wanted this baby. In March 2006, Shauna gave birth to her and Ignacio's son, Christian. Because Shauna was still married to Ken and Ignacio's wife had no idea he had a baby with his co-worker, Ken offered to raise Christian as his if Shauna would stay married to him, and she agreed. During the summer of 2006, while Heather was out one day, a woman approached her with shocking news. The woman informed Heather that Shauna Nelson had given birth to Ignacio's baby. This revelation left Heather in disbelief and confusion. Upon returning home, Heather confronted Ignacio about the child, demanding answers. Ignacio once again lied to his wife, attempting to conceal his affair with Shauna, and Heather continued to believe in Ignacio. One night in December 2006, Heather woke up to find Ignacio missing. She sat up and waited for him to get home. When Ignacio finally returned, Heather wasted no time in confronting him. Instead of lying like he had in the past, Ignacio made a choice to tell Heather the truth. Ignacio admitted to Heather that he had been out with Shauna that night. He went on to disclose that the affair had been going on for years, unbeknownst to her. Additionally, Ignacio told her about Shauna's two pregnancies, 
and that she had recently given birth to his son. After Ignacio confessed to his affair with Shauna to Heather, Heather followed through on what she had said she would do if Ignacio cheated. She ended their relationship and kicked him out of the house. However, Heather's strong desire to keep her family intact led her to call Ignacio back the next day. Despite Heather's initial disbelief and anger, she did not want to break up the family and feared that Victoria would be raised in a broken home. When Heather spoke to Ignacio, she let him know that she knew he was in love with her and that she loved him back. Heather expressed her desire to keep their marriage intact and said she did not intend to file for divorce. However, Heather made it clear that she was not ready to jump back into their marriage immediately. Instead, Heather presented Ignacio with several conditions to be fulfilled before considering taking him back. One of the conditions was that Ignacio needed to get an STD test. In addition to getting an STD test, Heather also recommended that Ignacio see a counselor. She believed that counseling could help them navigate the challenges of rebuilding their marriage and addressing any underlying issues that may have led to the infidelity. Furthermore, Heather asked Ignacio to give up his parental rights to Shauna's baby. Lastly, Heather requested that Ignacio end his relationship with Shauna. Ignacio was eager to save his marriage and agreed to all the conditions Heather proposed. He knew that he had wronged her and was willing to make amends. Ignacio called Shauna and informed her that he was ending their affair. While on the phone with Shauna, Heather, standing nearby, listened to the entire conversation. Moments after Ignacio hung up, a text message arrived on Heather's cell phone. The message contained a picture of Shauna and Ignacio's son, and underneath it were the words, Ig's flesh and blood. Shauna's outrage was fueled by the fact that Ignacio had ended their relationship and decided to remain with Heather. She felt betrayed and abandoned, and her anger boiled over. As a result, she began speaking openly about suing Ignacio for child support, seeking financial retribution for their son Christian. By the start of 2007, Ignacio and Heather were in the midst of repairing their marriage after Ignacio's infidelities. Despite the challenges they faced, the couple was determined to rebuild their relationship and make things work. However, despite Ignacio's efforts to put an end to his affair with Shauna, she continued to harass Heather. The harassment became so bad that Ignacio and Heather had to take drastic measures to protect their family and property. They began parking Heather's car in the garage instead of out on the street, fearing that Shauna might damage their vehicle. Additionally, the couple sought legal assistance and had an attorney send Shauna a formal notice informing her to stay away from Ignacio, Heather, and their daughter, Victoria. The notice contained clear instructions to cease any harassment or intimidation. Despite the warnings and consequences, Shauna refused to relent. She continued to harass Heather through text messages, emails, and voicemails, taunting her with nasty and hurtful words. On January 23, 2007, just after 6 p.m., Heather was leaving work at the credit union. She was looking forward to going home and spending the night with her daughter. However, Hayter's peaceful evening was suddenly disrupted as she exited the building with her co-workers. As they worked on their vehicles in a dark parking lot, the group was approached by a person dressed in black, wearing a Halloween mask, and brandishing a gun. The gunman was specifically focused on Heather, while others in the group attempted to hide. Pointing the weapon at Heather's head, the gunman told her to get down on her knees. Then, before pulling the trigger, the gunman said, You ruined my life! And then shot Heather two times, point-blank range execution style in the head. After shooting Heather, the gunman ran into a red pickup truck parked nearby and sped away. As Heather's shooting unfolded, her co-workers and other witnesses in the parking lot called 911. Minutes after Heather was shot, paramedics arrived on site, but their efforts to save her life were ultimately futile. The gunshot wounds to her head had caused fatal injuries, and Heather was pronounced dead at the scene. When police officers arrived at the parking lot to secure the crime, they discovered that the shooting victim was their co-worker Ignacio's wife. Recognizing Heather as the victim, the officers contacted Ignacio and instructed him to go to the hospital immediately. Ignacio sped through the hospital's hallways to reach Heather's trauma room. However, as he approached, 
a doctor stopped him to deliver devastating news. The doctor informed him that it was too late and Heather had passed away. The news hit Ignacio hard, and he realized he would have to break the devastating news to their nine-year-old daughter, Victoria. Telling Victoria that her mother was gone was the hardest thing Ignacio ever had to do. He recalled that they spent a long time sitting together, hugging and crying inconsolably. While Ignacio was digesting the news of Heather's death, back at the crime scene, witnesses were sharing their accounts of the murder with the police. One witness reported seeing the shooter appear unexpectedly before quickly disappearing in a red pickup truck. Another witness suggested that the shooter might have been a woman based on the way they ran. During the investigation, a name that had come up concerning Heather's harassment was Shauna Nelson. Someone who knew about Ignacio's affair mentioned Shauna could have been responsible for Heather's shooting. The police officers at the crime scene were already familiar with Shauna and her husband, Ken, as she was a dispatcher and a police officer. They knew Ken owned a car similar to the one the shooter was driving. With the evidence mounting against Shauna, the police issued an APB on their radios for both her and the red pickup truck she was believed to be driving. Ken Nelson, Shauna's husband, was working his shift that night and patrolling in his police car when he heard an alert for his wife and truck over the radio. He immediately began searching for his wife. Within 20 minutes, Ken located his wife driving his vehicle near their home. Shauna told Ken that she had been running errands. However, Ken became suspicious when he saw that Shauna was not wearing shoes, even though it was January in Colorado. Even more concerning for Ken was that she was dressed in his socks, underwear, and pants. After stopping his wife, Ken called in the sighting and requested assistance. Police officers soon arrived and took Shauna into custody. The authorities began investigating to determine if she had any involvement in Heather's murder. Investigators discovered a pair of shoes with Shauna's DNA on them, located less than 1,000 feet from the crime scene. Furthermore, the investigators recovered two shell casings from a .40 caliber Glock Model 22 from the parking lot where Heather was shot. The weapon was of the same type used by Ken for his work. This coincidence further strengthened the case against Shauna. The investigators also stumbled upon a Halloween mask hidden under the seat of Ken's red pickup truck that closely resembled the mask worn by the suspect in the Heather's shooting. During their search of Shauna's home, investigators discovered a fully drawn bathtub that appeared to be waiting for her. This tub led some to believe that perhaps Shauna was planning to clean herself of any blood spatter that could have been left behind after the shooting. Following her arrest, Shauna was subjected to thorough testing, and her clothing and hands were swabbed for gunshot residue. These test results came back positive. With mounting evidence, Shauna was eventually charged with first-degree murder. Even though shell casings matched the weapon used to murder Heather, the night Heather was killed, Ken handed his service weapon over to his supervisor, and the actual gun used to murder Heather had never been found. Yet because Ken Nelson stopped Shauna after the murder but didn't detain her, he was charged with tampering with evidence and accessory to first-degree murder. During her interrogation by the detectives, Shauna stated that she went out for errands and pulled on dirty clothes from the hamper, explaining why she was dressed in her husband Ken's clothing. Shauna mentioned when she got to the store, she realized she had forgotten her wallet and drove home. When asked about Heather's murder, she denied any knowledge of it and denied playing a part in it. Ignacio was also questioned extensively by the police after Heather was murdered, but was cleared of all suspicion. In February 2008, Shauna's trial began for the murder of Heather Garaus. Shauna pleaded not guilty to the charges. During the trial, the state argued that Ignacio was not the first married officer with whom Shauna had an affair. However, they contended that her fixation with Ignacio was the motivating factor behind her murdering Heather Garaus. The state struck an agreement with Shauna's former best friend, Michelle Moore, who used to accompany Shauna when she taunted Heather Garris in public. Michelle agreed to testify against Shauna in exchange for reduced sentencing. During her testimony against Shauna, Michelle discussed how much Shauna hated Heather Garaus and even admitted to helping plan Heather's murder. Shauna took the stand in her defense during the trial, denying the accusations against her. 
She adamantly denied telling anyone that she fantasized about killing Heather Garaus or picturing her during target practice. Additionally, she denied having any involvement in the actual killing of Heather, stating that she was on her way to a liquor store at the time of the shooting. During her testimony, Shauna presented an alternative theory as to who may have been responsible for Heather's death. She claimed that her best friend Michelle was obsessed with her and wanted to make her happy by getting rid of Heather. However, when Michelle was called as a witness and cross-examined, she denied Shauna's claims. At the trial, the state alleged that Shauna was dressed in her husband's clothing items during the shooting because she intended to set him up for murder. According to the prosecution, by getting rid of Heather, Ignacio's wife and Ken, her husband, Shauna, and Ignacio would be free to live there happily ever after. After the jury was released to deliberate, it only took them five hours to return a verdict. They found Shauna Nelson guilty of first-degree murder. The judge addressed Shauna and told her she deserved every day of the sentence she received. Michelle Moore, Shauna's former best friend, was sentenced to nine years in prison for her involvement in the planning of Heather's murder after testifying against Shauna. Ken Nelson resigned from the police department after Shauna was convicted of murder and filed for divorce. Following Shauna's guilty verdict, Ken moved out of state with his children, including Shauna's son, Christian, who she had with Ignacio. However, after some time, Ken moved back to Colorado, expressing hope that one day, the children would be able to visit Shauna in prison. Regardless of the circumstances, Ken believed that no matter what, Shauna had always been a loving and great mother. The charges against Ken were eventually dropped. Heather's loved ones are relieved that Shauna is behind bars. They believe that justice has been served, and they hope Shauna continues to reflect on the pain she caused Heather every day for the rest of her life. Shauna's selfish actions took Heather away from her family and deprived her daughter, Victoria, of her mother's. Unfortunately, in 2015, when Victoria was 17 years old, she lost her life in a car accident. Tragically, she lost control of her vehicle and struck a tree, ending her life. 